Mr. Chairman, uh, I want to thank you, uh, first of all, for calling today's actually second hearing uh, on the FCC order on net neutrality. I know that my time is limited, so let me uh, like to proceed with my questions to these industry stakeholders that are present today, and thank you also for your patience. Uh, Dr. Kovacs, before we broke for votes, uh, the, the distinguished uh, ranking member of the subcommittee uh, had kind of questioned your economic logic in your testimony, but you really weren't given an opportunity to respond to that, and so I'm going to go to you first, and maybe you would want to expound on, on that and my own questions. Is there currently some sort of network neutrality crisis warranting government intervention, or do you think we are better off letting the technology and the relationships between and among broadband providers and web companies just continue to evolve? Um, let me try and address those in a, a whole bunch of, of uh, questions that came up earlier and went away, and I think one of the best ways to answer that question is to look at the last few years and say that both uh, the vast investment of, in fiber that is Fios, um, most of the uh, wireless broadband investment has come since the uh, triennial review and since the classification of broadband as an information service. So it, to me, it, it clearly shows that giving the companies flexibility to run their businesses the way they need to run them makes it a lot easier for them to raise capital. Um, it's not clear to me that at this point there is any kind of crisis. Certainly the incidents that have come up that um, the ranking member referred to were dealt with one by one under the old regime. Well, so if, if, if you'll let me uh, uh, comment, and, and I agree, I don't, I don't know that uh, uh, there's a crisis. Do you, do you see any market power analysis in this FCC order demonstrating that there truly is an actual problem and it's not just some speculation that there could be some future harm. The FCC looked at an enormous record, and I think we do have to give them credit for having looked at an enormous record in, in reaching their decision. Having said that, uh, there's not anything like the kind of analysis that you would have um, an HHI index, that kind of thing, that would be looking even at the uh, transport layer at the at the broadband access providers, and there's no um, recognition that wireless actually in some markets does serve, and for some market segments does serve as a competitor. So I would disagree pretty strenuously with uh, Ms. Chasen's earlier repeated comments about the duopoly. Um, and there's also no analysis at all of anything above the transport layer. So the kind of market power, if there is market power, well, uh, that uh, Google, for example, Permitting me to reclaim my time, and I thank you for your sure. answer. I mean, it's, it's uh, certainly no nothing uh, that I would think uh, rises to the level of what the President said in his executive order recently in regard to rulemaking and what standards need to be met in regard to cost-benefit analysis. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mr. Uh, DeReggi, the testimony delivered earlier, Ms. Chase, I'm sorry she had to leave, but she stated that eliminating the FCC's network neutrality rules will put future entrepreneurs and small businesses at a significant uh, disadvantage. Uh, based on your testimony, I can tell that you are in disagreement with that characterization. In fact, you go as far to say that the FCC order will, and I think I'll quote you, result in fewer jobs and indeed stifle in innovation. So in addressing Mrs. Chase's testimony, can you describe why the FCC order will do just the opposite of what she characterized? Let me share my hometown of Barnesville. Seventy out of the 300 homes operate home-based businesses. That was made possible because of three megabit broadband shared by 50 homes, uh, which we provided. Broadband provides jobs, not HD video. When Netflix started streaming across that network, it compromised the businesses in our town. I had no choice but to slow Netflix. That's it. Well, ha has there been a lack of innovation in the absence of government regulation over the Internet during the past decade? Repeat the question. 
uh, has there been a lack of innovation in the absence of government regulation over the Internet during this past decade? Absolutely not. Is this a hammer looking for a nail? <laughs> exactly. Uh, Mr. Gen Chairman, I, I realize my time's expired, and I'll yield back. I appreciate the gentleman, gentleman's participation. Now recognize the gentleman from Kentucky, Mr. Gutt.